Good afternoon. Right now, there are growing concerns that people in one part of Middle Tennessee are in danger and could get sick. Leaders in Hickman County today called an emergency news conference to tell people about the growing threat in the aftermath of the flood and to try to get the word out that help is on the way. News Channel 5's Nick Barris is live in Centerville. Nick, I understand they were begging for TV coverage. They needed us here, and I'll explain why, Rory. Of all the counties that were hit by this flood, Hickman County has some very unique and serious problems that are really emerging only right now. You know, the flood swamped the local radio station here that everyone depends on for their news. They only have a weekly newspaper, and cell phone service was out for four days, only returning just this morning. Now, you can imagine, with the media blackout, they were more or less living in an island here, the citizens, and trying to get through this disaster. Many in the county area don't know they need to boil their water before drinking it or where they can go for help. As you see from this video, the flood damage here is typical, much of what happened elsewhere around the mid-state region. But Hickman County truly did become an isolated island. Well, it's been a tremendous challenge because we, we especially with our local radio station down, we rely heavily on them to get the word out to people. And uh, we just couldn't. And then when we couldn't get word to uh, the the Nashville media or, or really anyone. Uh, we couldn't even communicate with ourselves hardly unless it was by ham radio or certainly radio. Think about it, ham radio, and that was fairly spotty. So now just days after the flood, a moment ago, they wrapped up this emergency newser for the media, hoping that television media, that News Channel 5, can get the word out to people now, much of whom have had their electricity restored, Rory. You know, outside Centerville, you do not need to drink the water. You will get sick. They need to let people know that. Also, people need to know now they can get the word out with communication and cell phones that help is available. We're gonna, the cell service is up. We're going to give you a phone number now that you can call Hickman Emergency Management. The phone number will voice it for you twice, 931-729-6132. 931-729-6132. Help available there through the EMA. They can point you to bottled water. They can point you to food, shelter, all those things that people need that up to this point, they were in the dark and didn't know where to get it, Rory. Uh, Nick, so just so I understand this, there are people in some of the out, mm -hmm. outer lying areas of Hickman County right. who still don't even know the scope of what's happened, right? Exactly. Maybe they know their own situation. Because of the media blackout, they had no electricity, no cell phone. These folks in the rural areas, they're very concerned about. That's why they called this emergency news conference today. Hope they get the word out that there's help there and that these folks now need to come out and seek it because a lot of them, they don't know the emergency workers that they're there. In Centerville, live for News Channel 5 HG, this is Nick Barris. Back to you, Roy. Nick, thanks so much. Uh, there are 150 to 200 residents who are still locked in by the floodwaters there. And those people officials are most concerned about.